This is Dr. Narendra Kumar from Chennai. We will be demonstrating nasal bone fracture reduction. A 50 year old male had a road traffic accident following which both the nasal bone fracture happened. This is a clinical picture after 7 days of RTA. Now taking the computerized tomography of paranasal sinuses which confirmed the finding of both the fracture of the nasal bone. We took the patient under general anesthesia. The aim is so this is a philtrum, tip of the nose. If you cross a straight line, it goes into the eyebrow, not the glabella, which shows it's not in the midline. So this is a glabella. Straight line, the tip of the nose and philtrum is laterally placed. So this is our aim to make it all these three structures in a midline. So we using the Welsham forceps, the nasal bone reduction is being done here. The impacted bone is released and reduced. So the opposite side, the nasal bone is, is also reduced here. The reduction is done. So after the reduction, take a ash forceps inserted in this is to make the septum and the nasal bones or to be in the midline just push it upwards make sure it's in the midline so it is reduced now we'll check it out look at the glabella tip and filtrum lies in the midline here this was a before angulated and now it was corrected so draw a line all three structures are in midline look at this so we confirmed it and that's the end of the surgery. Any small manipulations can be done to align it in the midline. Both the side of the nasal cavity is packed with the merosils and with some external splinters. This is a post-op pictures comparing the pre-operative and post-operative finding of nasal bone fracture reduction. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Thank you all.